Number 10. Revolutionary War Cannons while dredging the Savannah River last year, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers discovered an anchor, old ship timber, and three five-foot-long cannons that may date back to the Revolutionary War era. Researchers were quick to weigh in on the finds and suggested that the cannons may have been used as a ballast or tossed overboard. Based on their appearance and measurements, archaeologists and the British Royal Navy initially speculated that they may have come from a warship called the HMS Rose. The vessel was intentionally scuttled 250 years ago to block French ships from passing through the canal and aiding the colonists fighting against Britain. But records later disproved this theory after revealing that the HMS Rose was sunk further upriver. The Army Corps of Engineers recently found another dozen cannons in the Savannah River, bringing the total number to 15. Like the ones discovered last year, they're thought to be from the Revolutionary Era, but their exact origins are still in question. The first three cannons were all found in a deep part of the river near an early 19th century fortification called Old Fort Jackson. The discovery prompted a search in other parts of the river for more cannons, which led to the latest find. Researchers have tentatively dated the recently discovered cannons to the mid-1700s, but they'll know more after cleaning and further inspecting them. Number 9. Goliath Tigerfish the Goliath tigerfish is the largest tigerfish species. It's often thought of as a larger and much deadlier version of a piranha. The biggest recorded specimen was nearly 5 feet long and weighed 154 pounds. The species is native to several parts of Africa in and around the Democratic Republic of Congo, including the Congo River Basin, the Lualaba River, Lake Upemba, and elsewhere. People from these regions have claimed that the Goliath tigerfish is the only fish that isn't afraid of crocodiles, and that it sometimes even eats small reptiles. It hunts prey using its strong force, lightning speed, and 32 jagged razor-sharp teeth each measuring up to an inch long, to chomp down on its next meal with surgical precision and little to no warning. Goliath tigerfish are even known to attack humans from time to time, and even when a person wins the battle against one, victory isn't easily achieved. In 2010, British angler and River Monsters host Jeremy Wade caught a Goliath tigerfish, earning him a distinction that only a handful of fishermen are known to have. He captured the creature in the Congo Basin after an eight-day hunt. Knowing how dangerous the fish can be and that he could easily lose a finger or two if he wasn't careful, Wade used extra caution reeling in his catch. Number 8. IL-2 Sturmovik the Ilyushin IL-2 Sturmovik is a World War II-era Soviet-manufactured ground attack aircraft. Over 36,000 were made between 1941 and 1946, making it the most heavily produced military aircraft in all aviation history. Despite the mass production, only a dozen or so complete examples of the plane exist today. In 2017, Russian researchers recovered a rare single-seater Shturmovik from Lake Krivway in Murmansk Oblast. Not surprisingly, the plane was extremely rusted and decaying, but for an aircraft that crash-landed and then sat in 60 feet of water for 75 years, it was in remarkably good condition. The team was able to make out its serial number and Red Army insignia, and they found propaganda papers and maps inside the cockpit. It appears as though the Sturmovik was struck by German troops, leaving the pilot with no other choice but to perform a forced landing. He managed to travel back into friendly territory before ditching in the lake. Thankfully, he escaped alive. Shortly after the plane's discovery, news articles reported that it's being restored to airworthy status. It'll be the first single-seat Sturmovik that's capable of taking to the skies in modern times. Number 7. Thousands of Bicycles at any given time, there are anywhere from 881,000 to 2 million bicycles in Amsterdam, which is world famous for its bike-friendly culture. And they don't just fill the streets. Every year, thousands of bikes end up in the city's canals. Many of them fall into the water or are blown in by the wind after being parked too close to it. But the vast majority of them are thrown in there on purpose. Petty criminals throw them in there for amusement and to dispose of evidence after committing a theft. And owners often seem to toss their bikes into the water when they break and aren't worth repairing. The accumulation requires the periodic removal of the discarded bicycles from the water. Otherwise, they pile so high that they start scraping the bottoms of boats. 
A company called Waternet has been tasked with getting the job done since the 1960s. Workers travel through the canal on barges, fishing for and collecting sunken bikes, and also removes them using a hydraulic claw connected to a crane. It takes a lot of work to keep Amsterdam's 165 canals, which add up to 60 miles of waterways. Waternet removes between 12,000 to 15,000 bikes each year. Number 6. An Out-of-Place Alligator The Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism encountered an unusual and troubling discovery last year when an American alligator carcass appeared in the Niniska River, far outside the species' native range. Investigators concluded that the dead alligator must have been someone's pet and that they released it into the river after it got too big for them to take care of. A local herpetologist determined that the creature was around three years old when it died. In a Facebook post featuring an image of the dead reptile, state game wardens reminded social media users that while baby alligators may seem like cool pets, they inevitably grow up to become large, dangerous predators. The post went on to point out that people often fail to consider the consequences of trying to raise a wild animal as a pet, and that captively raised alligators can never be released into the wild. When an animal is raised by a human, they learn to associate people with food, and this is generally not a behavior that they can unlearn. Once the lesson is taught, the damage is done, and the animal must remain in the care of humans for the rest of its life. Have you found a wild animal somewhere it didn't belong? Tell us about it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 5. Boeing 737 Fuselages In 2014, cleanup crews in western Montana were faced with a bizarre situation they never expected. A train derailed and sent three Boeing 737 fuselages tumbling down an embankment and into the Clark Fork River. The accident happened when 19 cars became separated from the tracks while traveling westbound. All of the six fuselages it was carrying fell off, but three stayed on dry land. They were en route to Washington, where they would be used in the production of new airplanes. The company responsible, Montana Rail Link, had never faced a predicament of this kind, leaving officials unsure of exactly how to respond, according to spokeswoman Linda Frost, who spoke with the Associated Press following the incident. Authorities announced that they were investigating to find out what caused the derailment. Thankfully, nobody was injured and none of the train's other cargo spilled. Number 4. A Crocodile in Paris Back in 1984, sanitation workers discovered a live 31-inch Nile crocodile in the River Seine in Paris. This was extremely concerning. Not only was the creature outside its native range of Africa and Madagascar, the species is known for being exceptionally aggressive and dangerous, even in comparison to other types of crocodiles. The team contacted zoo veterinarians who determined that the young female reptile was nowhere near full-grown. They named her Eleanor and moved her to the Aquarium de Vanna in Brittany, which was a much healthier and safer environment for both her and the public. Nobody knows how Eleanor ended up in the river, although it's likely that someone kept her as an exotic pet and then released her when she started getting too big for them to continue caring for her. It was estimated that she spent anywhere from one to two months in the Seine and in France's sewer systems before she was discovered. Eleanor spent her remaining years at the aquarium where she lived in an enclosure that was designed to resemble the Paris sewers. As an adult, she grew to be over 8 feet long and weighed around 550 pounds. She was in her 40s when she passed away last year. Number 3. Giant Freshwater Stingray The giant freshwater stingray may very well qualify as the world's largest freshwater fish. This ancient species, which appears to have changed very little over its several million year existence, is largely a mystery to scientists. Freshwater stingrays are one of the only rays who prefer freshwater environments over saltwater habitats, although it's unknown whether they ever enter the ocean. They are found throughout Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Indonesia, where they live and hunt among river bottoms. Researchers believe that freshwater stingrays reach as much as 16 and a half feet long and weigh up to 4,300 pounds. That's bigger than a small car. Freshwater stingrays are curious and non-aggressive by nature, and they do not typically attack humans. 
but they can be very dangerous to people who come into contact with them. At the base of the animal's tail is a sharp barb that can easily damage human skin and bone. And the creatures are also equipped with a poisonous stinger measuring up to 15 inches long. Fishers do not target freshwater stingrays because they are not a favored food source, but they sometimes unintentionally capture the animals in their nets or with their hooks. Stories of the creatures dragging boats around and sometimes even pulling them underwater demonstrate the very real dangers of accidentally catching a freshwater stingray. As terrifying as these creatures are, they are less of a threat to us than the other way around, and are classified as endangered. While their numbers are unknown, freshwater stingrays are thought to no longer inhabit the expanse of their former range, and are threatened by human activities such as pollution and the aquarium trade. Number 2. Brothel Token while walking along the Thames River in West London during low tide one day in 2012, amateur archaeologist Regis Curson spotted a bronze token in the mud. He told Mail Online that based on the object's size and thickness, he initially thought it was a Roman coin. After rubbing the sediment off it, he saw a number on one side and what looked like a woman or a female goddess on the other. Experts took a look at the artifact and realized that the coin features an image of two people engaged in a sexual act. This suggests that it's a token called a spintria, which would have been used in a Roman brothel. Carson's discovery was the first coin of its type ever found in Britain. It dates back to the first century, making it around 2,000 years old, but it's in remarkable condition for its age, thanks to the preserving effect of the mud it sat in for so long. Describing the design on the coin as saucy, Museum of London curator Carolyn MacDonald said that while the team admittedly giggled, they also realized that there was probably a very sad story behind the artifact because most prostitutes were slaves. Some researchers think that these tokens were a tool for brothel owners to ensure that they collected on the services rendered and that the prostitutes didn't receive any actual money. McDonald said that it's also possible that the customer exchanged the token for the act depicted on it. Not all scholars agree with the statement, however. When the coin's image seems to point in an obvious direction regarding its use, Cambridge professor Mary Beard suggested that things are not always as they seem. It could have had some other purpose, including as a board game token. Number 1. Manatee with a Message Someone took their desire to express their political beliefs to a new low early last year when they etched the word Trump onto an innocent manatee's body in capital letters. The creature was spotted swimming in Florida's Homosassa River during a manatee boat tour. A quick-thinking onlooker captured footage and passed it on to authorities, who estimated that the manatee was between three and four years old. Those looking to justify the disturbing act were quick to point out that the letters were not carved directly into the animal's skin. And it's true, the culprit etched their message into algae that was growing on the creature's back. The person likely has experience working with manatees and left the animal uninjured. But that doesn't exactly make it right for someone to scrawl their political sentiments onto a wild creature's body. Those involved in the case took the act as a sign that the individual might be capable of taking their behavior even further and inflicting actual harm on wildlife. Plus, manatees are protected under several laws including the Endangered Species Act and the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which makes it a crime to harass them and doesn't necessarily require an injury for an act to be considered a law violation. Shortly after the incident, which happened just days after rioters violently stormed the U.S. Capitol, the Center for Biological Diversity offered a $5,000 reward for information leading to the identity of the person who violated the gentle giant. The reward was raised to $8,000 a few months later, but it appears as though the case remains unsolved. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn about more crazy river discoveries, let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. Bye for now.